Rupee software turns a Raspberry Pi into a Rune endpoint. The new Rupee XL does that too, but at the same time makes the Pi an AirPlay and DNA renderer, an endpoint for Apple devices and for instance users of Lin, Marantz, Onkyo, Name, Panasonic and Sony streaming equipment. I have reviewed Rupee and recently made a video about using it as a remote control for Rune. Now there is an Excel version that does exactly the same but has added SharePoint, which is an Apple AirPlay compatible add-on, and it adds DNA render functionality. Let's see why you should want that. Almost all Apple devices, computers, iPhones, iPads and even watches can send audio to AirPlay compatible devices like active speakers, Apple TVs, compatible receivers and so on. The advantage of AirPlay over Bluetooth is that it is a lossless protocol. Even if you stream MP3 or AAC files, this is an advantage since there is no second lossy protocol that destroys the quality further. If you use Rune combined with Rupee XL on a Pi, it lets your kids and guests play their music from their iPhone to your stereo. This way you can, for instance, also play Tidal music from your iPhone over your stereo system. The Digital Living Network Alliance was founded in 2003 by the big consumer electronics and computer companies to share digital media to devices all over the house. Intel was the initiator while Sony and Microsoft were early adapters. It is functionally about identical to UPnP AV, which was a kind of dissident version that would also support pirate formats like MP3 back in the days. Nowadays DNA supports those formats too. DNA splits up a complete system into a digital media server, DMS for short, a digital media player, abbreviated to DMP, a digital media renderer or DMR and a digital media controller or DMC. The function of the server might be clear. The DMP can be a TV, game console, AV receiver and so on, while the DMR, the renderer, is a passive device that is sent music data and renders it to sound. The controller, the DMC, can be a dedicated device but also a smartphone, tablet or computer. All four classes need to be DNA compatible to work with each other of course. And a device can combine more than one class. Like a computer can function as a controller, a server and renderer at the same time. Rupi XL only is a renderer, so a DMR, and needs to get music sent to, just like the Rune endpoint function and the AirPlay function. For use as a Rune endpoint you need a Rune server and a license plus a controller like a tablet or a smartphone. For AirPlay you need a suitable Apple device and for DNA you need a server program installed on a computer or NAS and a controller, for instance a tablet running a DNA controller app. It is hardly interesting to have a DNA renderer when you have a Rune system running. The reason to install Rupi XL for DNA is quite a different one. It is a very easy way to convert a Raspberry Pi into a DNA renderer which you want if for, in, for instance you have a nice name stereo with streamer and want a low cost second playback system for the study or the kitchen. Get yourself a 8 GB or larger microSD card and stick it into a microSD slot on your computer, directly or using a microSD to SD card converter. Download Rupee XL from the rupee.org website and also download Etcher, the link is on the same page as the link to the Rupi XL software. Etcher is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Start up Etcher, select the Rupi XL image, which probably is in the download folder, then select the microSD card as a target and press flash. Etcher starts writing the Rupi XL image and when that is done you can remove the microSD card from your computer and stick it in the Raspberry Pi. Connect the Raspberry Pi to your network using a network cable. 
Even if you intend to use Wi-Fi, you first have to connect the network cable to do the installation and settings. If you are impatient, you might want to temporarily connect a monitor or TV to the HDMI output of the Pi, so you can see the progress on the screen. Then connect the power supply to the Raspberry Pi and plug it in a main socket. Rupi XL analyzes the hardware used, downloads the appropriate software and makes the right settings to have the hardware function well. If you have connected a display, don't think the installation halted when nothing happens on the screen. Be patient, when the installation is finished you'll see a message on the screen with further instructions. If you don't have a monitor attached, go to an internet browser on your computer and type rupexl.local in the address bar. When rupexl is fully installed, this screen will pop up. When not, try it somewhat later. Again, it will take considerable time, but then again, it's fully automatic, so you don't have to watch and wait. When the browser shows the Rupee welcome screen, you click on continue to go to the general settings screen. Here you can change the host name, for instance in Rob, so the next time you can type rob.local to get to these settings. Then you choose the correct driver for the headboard you use. In my case, this is the Audiophonics iSaber ES9038. If you use a USB deck, don't change this setting, but check the audio USB box below it. You can also force the volume setting and set the time zone so it gives the correct time when no music is played. For AirPlay and DLA, the tabs Display and Remote Control are not relevant. If you are a Rune user and want to know more about these features, watch my video Adding a Infrared Remote to Rune. The Network tab shows you the current network settings. You can set a static IP address if you like or enable Wi-Fi and then enter the particulars of your Wi-Fi router. If you don't know what this is about, leave it. The standard settings are fine for normal situations. The advanced step that you set things as whether you want only stable updates or betas and whether you want them installed on a reboot or manually. Then you can set a reboot schedule for every day, every week or never and set a reboot time. Then there is a setting for a LED on the Raspberry Pi, an alarm clock function that works with Rune only, SSH access for command line geeks and web authentication to prevent your son, they are always sons, to alter settings. Then we come to the Excel settings, which are enabling volume control for AirPlay and set the output for both AirPlay and DLA to either headboard or USB, or have the Rupee Excel select the outputs automatically. On every tab you have to click Commit Changes and confirm the change followed by a reboot. Once set up, there's not much to worry about. If you want to use AirPlay to relay your audio from your iMac, iPhone or iPad, you automatically see Rupee XL in the list of AirPlay renderers. Just choose it and you're playing. The AirPlay protocol only allows for audio up to 48 kHz sampling. DLA works just as easy. You need to have a DLA server running, I use Minim server, and a digital media controller, I use the Glider app on my iPad. Choose your server, you probably have only one named here. Choose the music you want to play. And when asked, choose the Rupee XL for playback. Within Rune you can even use it either as a Rune endpoint or AirPlay renderer. This might be handy if you want to link two playback systems for multi-room, but one of them doesn't support Rune but does do AirPlay. In that case you just choose the AirPlay function in Rune. Multi-room in Rune only works if you couple playback systems that use the same protocol, so they either all use Rune RAT, AirPlay or Sonos. You can use all these playback systems at the same time, but not playing the same using synchronized. That's only possible within one protocol. Rupee XL works great, just as well as the standard Rupee version, but with the AirPlay and DLA as an extra. 
I now have it running on three Raspberry Pis, one that I only use as a display and infrared receiver, one in the Audiophonics Rasp Touch housing with the iSaber ES9038 DAC board and one with the Allo Digimon Signature SPDIF board. This of course has to do with the testing and research I do, but for you it is a proper way to distribute music throughout the house for not too much money. Take the old mini set to your study and connect the Raspberry Pi with DAC and Rupee or get the old ghetto blaster to the garage connected to your music work. Or have your kids enjoy your Tidal and Cobus subscription and their Spotify music. You get the picture. By the way, the price of Rupee XL is the same as for the standard version. Whatever you want to pay. And don't be a cheapskate. That's it for this week. There will be another video next Friday as always at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you'll be warned when new videos are out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to all that support this channel financially, it keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If you also feel like supporting my work, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.